This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. In this video, I want to tell you why I use MigrateMe4 from PHP Web Design uh, when I'm migrating Joomla 3 sites to Joomla 4. Now to start out with, I just want to say that uh, the migration path and tools in the core of Joomla 3 are absolutely fine and work perfectly for migrating from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4. If you have a Joomla 3 site and you don't have any third-party extensions uh, added to it, you're just using everything that's core, it's going to migrate really easily and you're not going to have any problems. Now, if you have third-party uh, extensions, uh, add it to your Joomla 3 site, then what you have to do is run the pre-update uh, or the pre-update pre-migration checker in Joomla 3 just to make sure that everything is compatible. And if it is, you can just use the core method to migrate to uh, Joomla 4. Now, if not everything is ready, then what you have to do is come up with a plan to update extensions with their Joomla 4 compatible uh, version or uh, find something else that you can use that is going to be compatible in Joomla 4 and you plan that path out. And then, uh, then you can use the core migration method and give it a try, see if you've caught everything. Now, uh, sometimes there can be surprises, something that's not compatible and it will break uh, your Joomla 4 migrated site in which case uh, you're kind of stuck because you're going to have to restore a backup and uh, well you're not so in that case you're not really stuck but you have to restore a backup and go back and try again now what's uh, a really good practice is that before you migrate your Juma 3 website uh, to Juma 4 is make a copy of it and then install it in a subdirectory or a subfolder or on on your um, on your home on your home server or a laptop running server software and practice uh, get your site ready and practice the migration and if it breaks no problem because your live site is still running and then um, if once everything's working on your copy then you can replace it with your live site and that's all good uh, so you're protected you you should always always have a backup for your live site when you're mig migrating now the reason that I like migrate me for is because uh, I am busy and maybe I'm a little lazy but instead of making a manual copy uh, taking a backup of the site moving it somewhere creating a database moving uploading testing and then replacing the live site migrate me for lets me with one click start the migration uh, from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4 in a subfolder of my live site. And then in that subfolder, I can go and I can make sure that the migration worked. And if there's anything I need to work on, I can either fix it there or go back to Joomla 3 and run it again. Uh, the live site stays live. The files for it stay untouched. And even the tables for it stay untouched because migrate me for makes a copy of the tables in your database with a different prefix. So whatever you're doing in the migrate me for subfolder in the staging area, you're not affecting your live site at all. And uh, it's just, I just find it so much more convenient for making a staging site. Uh, now, once you have your Joomla site, uh, your Joomla 4 site working well, you can then uh, click once and that site will be copied back on top of your live site wiping out your Joomla 3 site, which you should always have a backup because anything can happen at any time, but wiping out your Joomla 3 site, making your Joomla 4 site live, and everything is good. So uh, even though the core system works well on plain Joomla sites, um, and with a lot of work you can, uh, with a lot of work or whatever work you need to do to check to make sure you have your Joomla 3 site ready so it will work in four when you do a migration. Uh, even though that works, I just like the convenience of being able to try and be cover and, and make that staging site in one click. 
So uh, let me just show you very quickly how it happens. I have other channels, uh, I have other videos on my channel that show how this works. And uh, you're always welcome to, uh, to subscribe and uh, watch those videos or even contact me, Tim at cybersalt.com if you've got questions uh, about this, uh, using this method. But let's look at the screen now and I'll just show you quickly a couple of scenarios of why I like uh, Migrate Me For. All right, so this website uh, is a site that uh, is, belongs to my wife and I for the work that we do uh, with the refugees. She is mostly doing that, uh, uh, and I, am, I, I help out from time to time. It's a Joomla 3 site. It's running, um, it's running a rocket theme template. Uh, we're going to go into the control panel in the back here, and I'm going to go to components, and I'm going to go to migrate me for. All right. So now... Um, I just want to show you that up here in the configuration we have some options and I have this configured for a quite fast virtual server. This is on my company's server uh, using acceleration. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off backups because I don't I, I have a reliable backup so I don't need migrate me for to make a backup. And I'm also going to turn off safe mode. Now I really like safe mode in migrate me for because what it does is it turns off all of the non-core uh, extensions in Joomla. So later on when you uh, go into the Joomla 4 test migration that uh, uh, you don't have any surprises there. And what I do is I turn them on, uh, those extensions on one at a time and test and I, and I can see. Now, of course, I still try to have everything as ready as possible in Joomla 3, but you never know about the surprises that can come along. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to turn off uh, safe mode and say no. So let's save and configure. So now with one click, I'm going to click upgrade to Joomla 4.25, and uh, which is the current version for Joomla when I'm making this video. And what's going to happen is that it's going to copy all of my files into a subfolder called MM4 in, in my Joomla install. And it's going to duplicate all of the tables for the Joomla 3 install and create uh, a copy of them uh, that uh, is going to be the, the, the Joomla 4 database tables, all in the same database though, but kept separately by different prefixes. So I'm gonna cut the video here and, and, and skip to the end when this is finished, and then uh, I'll show you the next steps. Okay, uh, there we go, the upgrade is complete. Now, now, before I do this, before I log into the admin of this test migration, I just want to say is that I purposefully did not update everything in this Joomla 3 site so that this would break because I'm going to show you how easy it is if you do have something that goes south on you. Once the uh, test migration is done, all you do is just go and log into the admin and you'll see here exactly what I expected. There was a whole bunch of extensions here that did not uh, were not compatible, and I can close those messages there. But still, now something is not working here. Well, let's see if the front end of the site is working. We can click here, and of course, I didn't update, so we've got a 500 error. Now uh, that's all fine because this is a test area. Watch what we can do. We'll go back to the Joomla 3 site. Let's refresh because I think I have to log back in again. No, I stayed logged in. And there's my button. I'm just gonna upgrade again, except this time I'm going to go and I'm going to use safe mode, all right? So turning off all of the extensions in the Joomla 3, uh, all of the non-core extensions will be turned off in Joomla 4. The live site stays fine. Uh, the database is untouched. Everything is working, uh, but I'm going to use safe mode and turn all of those off. We'll save and con that configuration. And now I'm going to run the upgrade again. It's going to wipe out the old one, the previous, sorry, it's going to wipe out the previous uh, migration attempt or test that I did and overwrite all that. And now once the time goes by, we will check and see the result after that. And here we are again at the end of that migration, that test migration. Now let's log into the admin again, this time all of the extensions are going to turn off. We go into there and oh, now we can log in. We will log into the back end. Everything looks like it's working well here. And look, 
Now we have access to the, this is again, a test migration up here. See the folder it's in is forward slash MM4 for me to go around and test and look and see what's happening. Now, again, uh, if I go and preview this page, I'm going to get, oh, the Gantry 5 framework is not available because I need to turn that plug in. Now I've not updated that template. So if I turn it on here in, in, in the test migration, then it's going to break, but at least I have an area that I can work. Now, so what's, what's my takeaway from this? It's, it's this, you don't need migrate me for to migrate your Joomla site from Joomla three to Joomla four. There are methods to do it without this extension. However, I really like the convenience of being able to make the staging test area with one click and check, watch for surprises. And if there are surprises, fix them either here in the Joomla 4 testing area or in the Joomla 3 site and running another test. And as you can see here, just back on this screen, once you are happy that your Joomla 4 site is working, that test migration is working, Make sure you have a backup of your Joomla 3 site. Back up, back up, back up. But once you're happy, once you're ready to make what you see and have worked on work, then click there to go live. I'm not gonna do that now because the site's not ready. It's broken, right? But click there, one click, and then this test migration will be written, will replace your Joomla 3 site. There's other things to be thinking about. Uh, because you, uh, if you take a long time working on your migration to four and your Joomla 3 site, which is live, still has people adding purchases or submitting forms that you store that, or someone's adding articles, you know, you want to maybe just use this migration tool for testing. And then you know when you're safe to go ahead and use the core method. But anyways, for me, migrate me for is a huge time saver. And, uh, and, uh, I, uh, 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 that's what I'm using for migrating my sites and the sites for uh, my clients uh, here at CyberSalt. So I hope that was a helpful look. Uh, if you're interested in checking out more about Migrate Me For, the link is in the video description below. And so as usual, until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.